and then red, white, and blue, that is FC America. We are underway. FC America will start with possession. 96 minute to walk away with a point. And they have a loss as well in this season. They're dealing with a lot of loss in terms of players. Lost 70% of their goal scorers from last year. So it's a bit of a rebuild for Tormenta. It seems to be every season for Tormenta. That's the style of club they are. They, they do well and then, then the bigger clubs come in and take their players. But uh, Gabby Rodriguez got the only goal in that loss to Central Valley for Wego. So both Rodriguez and, as you mentioned, Watson have been on the goal scorer's sheet in the last two games. Turnbridge looking for a header, bounces off the post. And here comes a counter opportunity for FC America. And we just mentioned those two players. I think it was Gabriel Rodriguez at the near post and now Watson who, who then hit the ball onto the post and neither of them could get it in the back of the net, but a really good chance early on for Tormenta. Well, Tormenta looking to pounce early. Romig is going to have to get back into position. That was a long ball. Left-footed strike, and it's saved. Roaming has to dive for it. That's a good look for FC America. Romeg with safe hands, as you would expect, with someone with his ability. And have a look here. Gets whipped in. Comes off now. Watson onto the post. How close was that? And a lovely effort here. Decent ball. Not enough power behind it, but it was on target. Got to give... Credit there to the big man, William Young, the Cameroonian, 30 years of age, and got a ton of goals in the three matches leading up. I think he's got four goals in total over all three matches. So if you're watching, if, if you're the defenders of Tormenta, there's one player you're going to be watching this match, mostly, and it's going to be William Young. Not that left flank for Tormenta. Doyle with the touch. Watson, Spangler, racing to it. Put on a cross, header in! Tormenta scores! Akoto heads it home. Good header from Nick Akoto. The goalkeeper's on the other side of the goal, so he had a bit of space to aim into, but they got down that left-hand side really well, put a decent ball in. They hit the post only a minute ago from a similar move down the left-hand side. This time they punished FC America CFL Spurs. You can see it's a lovely move down the left-hand side. And it's Gabby Rodriguez waiting for the ball. Doesn't get it, but it comes out wide, as you said, to Spengler. But unmarked at the far post. Okoto, nobody near him. All the time in the world to stick that. Here's a chance for FC America. Shot, save. Romig denies. What a good chance for FC America to have got back on level terms. On their league, USSL, last year went undefeated within the Florida Conference. And so they had a lot of success, including qualifying for the Open Cup. You can see the quality and talent on this side. Assuming it's... Not too big a drive from central Orlando into South Georgia. Missed by Dangler. Oh, lucky, luckily, he has some help. That could have been danger. Rodriguez. Watson. Pulls it into the 18. Spangler makes a move. Another one. Takes a shot. And it's just off. Wow, that was some good play. Seems to have come off the goalkeeper's hands. He made, made the save because they've given the That's corner. Nice counter-attack play here. Beautiful ball coming in here into space from Gabby Rodriguez. Now Watson head up. But it's Dylan had some trouble with that one. Ended up right back with Tormenta. Here's an opportunity. And that one's just going to skim of the top of the netting. Dalmeida with a good luck for Tormenta. It is a decent effort from the former Cardiff City man. And certainly the home side beginning to ask questions again. And that's tough for FC America because they had a chance to get an equalizer. A couple of good saves from Drew Romick. And all the time they're one nil down, there's a danger of going two down away from home and then you have a mountain to climb. Dylan is dispossessed. Udom helps out. 
Uh, that's a late tackle and a clear whistle. Spangler gets called for that. From Fiorino, near post, headed away. Well, that was Dingler who dove for that. And we'll get the whistle to end the first half. Move on to the next round and face potentially a USL championship side who will join and enter the picture in the next iteration. All right, we are underway in the second half. Turnbridge. Watson breaks loose, cuts it back, leaves it behind. Rodriguez off his left foot, and it's off on the near side, or excuse me, on the near post. That could have sneaked in there. I don't think Eduardo Tanaka saw it very clearly because he just stood watching as the ball flashed past the post. Either that or he's a very good judge of the fact the shot was going wide from Gabby Rodriguez. Fiorino has definitely been the X factor for FC America. Well, he, get called, he gets called for a foul there. really has been has in good form first half as you say clever feet and runs with the ball nice and close to him and looking to play yang in whenever he could hassan spangler cross in back post rodriguez just off he slides through and doesn't finish it's a great ball from Spengler, such a clever ball into a dangerous position. And Rodriguez has really got to finish that off. He's got there and he's got a foot to it. He just can't quite guide the ball into that far post. And back to your point, if, if, if there's an equalizer from FC America, they will look back at this one to a and think that's when we should have gone 2-0 up and given ourselves a little bit of... Played long, Allen. Keeps it into the 18. Goes to work, and it's touched away. Rodriguez takes a shot, and it hits the side of the netting. A bit of a speculative shot from the edge of the box, but it's very, very tight angle. But you can see the strength and willingness of Richard Allen coming on as a sub there. Right in the right-hand side of his screen. He's got the energy. He just needs to get a bit of service, and he could be the man to get the equalizer if there is going to be an equalizer. Certainly the clock is ticking down now, and I think as a player, you're aware of how much time is left, obviously. You get told from the bench, and in most grounds, there's a clock anyway. And you would know if you are FC America, there's 12, 11 minutes plus a little bit of at a time. You know that the clock is ticking down, and you need to get that ball forward. You need to get shots on target against Drew Romick. It's getting desperate now. Hoping someone can play hero in the first ever Open ge Cup game for FC America. Sadiq, Sadiq! Don't go to Preston! Through the air. Finally with Tormenta. Rodriguez. Allen. Bounces off a son. A little stiff arm there. Drives it to the corner. Allen gets around. And I believe he went out of play. Yes. He did really well there, but in the end, he just took on too many players. He needed a bit of help. Sometimes he let the ball do the work, just play a quick one, too. But he's a powerful player. Certainly has a lot of upper body strength. And that might come in handy in these last 10 minutes. Fiorino looking to pick a pocket, and it ends up back with FC America. There's a shot from distance, and it's off the mark. Senior with the luck for FC America. Working very, very hard here with some tired legs, and gets set up, Chandel Senior. As the shot from what, 25 yards out, it's got to be a really good effort to beat a quality goalkeeper like Drew Romig. 10 minutes to go in this first round match of the Open Cup. FC America and Tormenta 
going head to head on a Tuesday night. Eang, foul. Curls this one, skims off a couple of heads, and it bounces wide. That last touch off of Tormenta. But That's there's it. the wow. final whistle, 1-0. And it all comes down to that goal in the fifth minute.